Okay, this is Stacy. I'm coming to you all again just for a quick break. I want to share a little bit about being self-employed and following your passion because a couple of people have asked me about that. How did you uh, start all of this? I've been in private practice for almost 18 years. My husband and I decided that we would do it um, after we started raising kids and it got to seem to be too much for me to go out of the house, come back in. So we launched it about 18 years ago. I tell everyone it has not been an easy path. My faith in God has been the cornerstone of the practice. My tenacity that I think was passed down to me generation after generation has also been very helpful. Both of my grandparents, uh, my grandfathers were entrepreneurs. My dad's father owned a furniture store, renovating furniture. He did marvelous work up until he passed away. And then my mom's dad continues to run the family grocery store in East Texas along with his wife. So I've seen people run businesses and go through the hard times, the ups and the downs, and what it takes to actually sustain. And that has helped me, but I also relied on a lot of people. I've gotten a lot of help. One thing that I knew is that I wanted to help people. That was my passion from, I mean, just a really young age, I've always wanted to help people. So I figured out what I needed to do to work in my passion. Part of this August accountability, 31 days of action, is part of that passion. It's just another threshold to me helping other people, perhaps on a wider level than just one-on-one -on -one counseling. So what I encourage you to do is you go through these five levels this week, is try to filter them all so that they will end up with you looking at what your passion is and what you need to do. You may not be able to work full time in your passion, but I do want you to look at if it wasn't about money, if it wasn't about location, wasn't about time, what would you do if you could do it? And then you can break it down and say, I can work in this full time, maybe I can do this for a side, you know, part time job, or maybe I can do this um, as a ministry or as volunteer work. So let me know what you think. I'm not talking about hustles. I want to make sure that I'm not talking about hustles. I want something that you're passionate about because when you're passionate about it, you're going to do the research, you're going to be fulfilled in it, and then you'll be able to sustain it and you'll actually get something out of it. Because research shows that when we feel better, when we're doing something that we really enjoy doing, we tend to have more grounded lives, we tend to be happier. But when we're going to a job every day that we do not like doing, we're coming home, we have to do stuff that we do not like doing, I'm talking about chores and errands and things like that, then it decreases our level of happiness. So this is also a part of you feeding into yourself, which will be the segment for next week is on um, self. That's the last segment of the quadrants. So you all, thank you for the feedback. I hope this was helpful to someone. Let me know what else you want me to comment on and I'll be more than welcome to do it. Thank you.